The P3 Property Wealth Manager is a software package with which one can look at the future performance of any prospective investment property. Let us now look at an everyday property that can readily be found in the paper or at a normal estate agency. We choose to look at a property of 450,000 Rand. Let us call it a smallish two-bedroom townhouse or flat in Gauteng. For the purposes of this exercise, let us assume that the 450,000 Rand already includes transfer costs. Let us therefore skip the transfer costs section. I would like to assume that we can buy this property with a 100% bond, so let us leave the deposit. B3 strives to achieve this with most properties. Transfer costs included in the price and a 100% bond. The next field is the rental income. Remember that we are not dealing here with a specially selected property. It is an everyday property found in the newspaper. Let's therefore take a safe approach and go for a low 3,000 Rand a month rental income. I'm sure you will agree with me that anyone could find a 450,000 Rand property with a 3,000 Rand rental income from an advertisement in the media, at least in this point in time, which is 2011. We should adjust the interest rate closer to that what we experience in practice today, so let us make it 10%. We can actually leave all the other variables alone, since they all represent conservative assumptions. Can you see that most of these indicators are either in the yellow or in the red? Look at the bottom indicator, which sums it up. The B3 score is not in the green. Therefore, this property does not qualify to be called a B3 property. In B3, we would regard this property as a bad deal. You should not buy this property or something similar, since it is not going to give you an optimal return on your investment. Having acknowledged that buying this property would be a mistake, let us quickly look at how this bad property would perform in the future. Do you see the bottom line of the monthly cash flow table? Can you see it is red? It says minus 2,500 and something. That means that the tenant is going to pay 3,000 Rand a month towards your investment. And you will need to add another 2,500 to satisfy all monthly costs associated with keeping this property. We normally refer to this amount as the monthly shortfall. Now carefully watch this figure as we scroll through the future years of this investment. Look at how the amount diminishes year by year from year 1 to year 9 until the shortfall changes into a monthly surplus. It will take you about 9 years of paying shortfalls every month. If you add up all the payments that went out of your own pocket, it comes to the invested amount of about 160,000 Rand. Once your monthly cash flow is positive or green, you don't have to contribute towards this investment anymore. The tenant's money will pay all the bills of every month and what is left, the surplus, is yours. It would of course be wise to invest the surplus back into the bond account because that will help you to pay off the property in 15 years rather than 20. Would you normally be interested to buy a 450,000 Rand property which gives you only a 3,000 Rand rental income per month? I guess some of you would say yes, but remember I already called it a mistake. What if I could get you this property today for only 160,000 Rand? Would you jump at the opportunity to buy a 450,000 Rand property for 160,000 Rand? Who would not? This is, however, exactly what you are looking at. You buy a property not with your own money, but with a bank's money. The tenant pays off most of the loan and the levies, and it costs you only 160,000 Rand. Now remember that we have called this property right from the start a mistake. You should not buy a 450,000 Rand property like this for only 160,000 Rand. It is a bad deal. You can actually do a lot better than that. Let me ask you, if it would be a mistake to buy this property, can you think of a bigger mistake than the mistake of buying this property? Yes, I think you can get to the answer. It would be a bigger mistake not to buy this bad deal. Isn't that exactly what most people are doing all the time? They are not even buying the bad properties. Those bad properties that would give them a far better return on their money than any other type of investment. If you haven't realized the power of property until now, I hope that your foundations have been rocked. I would like to encourage you to go out there and buy those bad properties that will turn your world around. Although this will be a mistake and it will cost you dearly, you will still be better off than taking the road that society wants us to follow with pension funds and retirement annuities. For those of you, however, who are wise, I would like to show you a better way. Join the P3 Investment Club and get the opportunity to buy the best investment properties that can be found in the whole of South Africa. Let us now look at a typical P3 Investment Club property and why it is such a lot better than your average property out there. 
a typical P3 property has a much higher rental income in relation to the purchase price, many even higher than 1% of the purchase price. If we adjust the rental income of our example property to only 4,000 Rand, which is a mere 0.89% of the purchase price, everything changes. Just look at how all our indicators are now in the green. Instead of paying 160,000 Rand for a 450,000 Rand property, this particular property will now only cost you about 56,000 Rand. Another way of looking at it is to realize that you can buy yourself a net monthly pension of 3,000 Rand a month for a mere 56,000 Rand. If you mention this to your financial advisor, they will simply say you lie. As a P3 member, you get a license to use the Property Wealth Manager. The software lets you do a whole lot of other interesting things, amongst which the ability to administer and keep track of your whole property portfolio. So don't hesitate to complete your application form to become a P3 Investment Club member.